Hey guys, and welcome back to Churn Farms. So, it is uh, midday of the uh, 11th day of autumn, and uh, we've worked really hard last night and uh, this morning uh, bringing the rest of those hay bales in. And uh, as you can see, we've got uh, rain threatening threatening us at this point, uh, but we've got a couple days of good weather. So, we're down here at the shop, and uh, we're going to put an order in for um, some forage equipment. We've also got a great demand for potatoes uh, for 12 hours, so that would be until, um, I guess, uh, 2 a.m. that time. So uh, we're here. We're going to put in an order for uh, some forage equipment, and uh, let's take a look. So I was going to originally, uh, where is it? I was going to originally uh, get one of these. Uh, they're on sale, handy dandy. Uh, I was looking to maybe buy one, but look at our balance. Uh, since we bought those sheep early, uh, we're kind of short on money, so we're not going to be able to buy it. I looked about leasing it, and I thought, well, let's see here. I wonder how often we're going to, how long we're going to need this. And I thought, well, we got two fields. We're probably going to need it for at least two full game days. Um, that's going to be probably three hours, so that's that's eighteen thousand dollars there. Um, Plus the fifteen thousand, you know, so it's fifteen thousand plus another twelve thousand, um, so you know that's twenty some thousand dollars. So I found this, and it hooks up to the front of your tractor. Uh, we can uh, lease it for four thousand dollars. We can buy it for forty five. So I plan on buying it, and uh, we're going to uh, return it when we're done. And now we need a decent tipper uh, to go with this. So, I have to say, this is one of my favorite little mods. We're going to go with this one. Wide tires, we're just going to leave it that color. 27.8, it's pretty cheap. We're going to go ahead and get those things. Uh, plus, it holds 37,000 uh, liters of product. So, with the rain coming, um, I do want to try to take advantage of that... Uh, that great demand of potatoes that just came up. We still have a whole bunch of potatoes left. And uh, no, we don't need but, uh, but a very small amount of those potatoes. So let's take a look at our inventory, actually. We've got 124,000 liters of potatoes still. Uh, $237 per thousand liters. So we could uh, make a little bit of money off of those potatoes over the next uh, next little bit. So uh, we may look at, uh, at running a couple loads over to the uh, cell point. Uh, but what we're going to do is I really wanted to get this and kind of get started on this. Um, and once it starts raining, well, we'll probably obviously put a halt to our chaffing operation. And then look at possibly just carting some potatoes around. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this over. And we're going to start in field, the little field. Uh, what is that field? It's field number nine. I'm going to go ahead and start in the little field. See how much we can get done before it rains. Uh, one other reason why I kind of like this uh, this little piece of equipment here in the front is that the way these fields are laid out, there really isn't a lot of room for uh, for a tractor to come in behind a forage harvester or come alongside of a forage harvester. So that would be, you know, we would have to either tow the trailer behind the forage harvester and um, and our basically run the tractor directly behind the forage harvester and kind of hope that we could 
get to an opening field uh, before we were full so that we didn't have to kind of like back out of the field um, when we got full. So this little piece of equipment would allow us to uh, basically not have to worry about that so much, I think, uh, because we can just, uh, you know, if we feel that we're getting full, we can kind of just make a loop around and uh, have ourselves a way out. Let's go ahead and pipe this out. Let's lower it. Turn it on. See this thing get to work. Right. I said the goal would be to uh, we're going to do this until it rains. And once it rains, we're going to uh, switch over and uh, cart some potatoes over to the sell point. See if we can't earn back a little bit more money. Because we will be buying some pigs here at some point. And we only need about $150,000 for the amount of pigs that we want to get. So at this point, we don't have that money. But we're going to... Uh, I'm not super concerned about the uh, our bank balance for a couple reasons. One, uh, we've got the Fent Harvester. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. There we go. We got the Fent Harvester that uh, we bought. We're holding on to it until we can harvest the cornfield and the soybean field. And then we'll be getting rid of the harvester. Uh, then we also have the um, header. So we need to sell the header once we do the soybean field, we need to go back, sell the header, and uh, basically pick up the corn header for that. Then we're going to uh, harvest that corn field, and then we'll be able to sell that uh, Fint harvester. That should bring us a couple hundred thousand dollars back into the bank. I would love to be able to sell that harvester before we have to buy our pigs. But uh, we may need to take a loan out uh, before we buy our pigs, just to... Uh, just kind of float until we can uh, finish our fall harvest off. So we are at 59%. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut across here. Just open up to the uh, to the exit here, just to give us an escape. And we'll probably loop around off. Oh, that turn. Pull up through this guy's field. It looks like he's already harvested his crop, so we don't have to worry about uh, damaging his crop. Come back here a little bit. Then we will go uh, dump this in our um, fermenting silo. So I know I could set up a uh, probably a course play course and just uh, have some course play drivers cart the uh, chaff around way it's looking we've got uh, pretty much have three days I think to um, to get these two cornfields harvested and 
no big rush, so we might as well just take our time. These things fold up. They fold up pretty cool. Fold up with the left and right mouse button. As opposed to like hitting X to uh, to fold it up or anything. Just gonna leave the pipe out. A big rush there. That's up so we don't drag it on the ground. And this road. This road right up here to the right will go ahead and take us back to the uh, back to the cow farm. I think I had commented on the last video about the uh, wonderful autumn colors we have here. Uh, that in there. A little far away, but uh, try to do a little bit better next time. Cloudy, I don't think we're going to be able to get another load. I'm going to be relegated to check out these, uh, check out these latches. Really cool latch animation. So yeah, I think uh, those are uh, those are hay bales stacked away, and we've got another um, 60 bales or so over at the uh, over by the greenhouse in that big barn. We've got more bales than we had room for here. So went ahead and took a couple a uh, couple loads of those bales down to the. Uh, down to the um, greenhouse barn. Let's call it. All right, there we go. That's it. Not gonna be. Uh... Be harvesting that anymore. So. Drop that off. I want to see if our uh, pickup truck will pull this trailer does then we can use the pickup truck to uh, to take our potatoes around if it doesn't that's fine we can use this tractor the pickup truck would be a little quicker maybe allow us to uh, get a couple more loads sold we will pick back up with our uh, forage harvesting once we get a dry crop state which will probably be, be tomorrow at this point that's cool because if we look at our forecast uh, we've got uh, uh, two full days of uh, hopefully dry weather um, after that it's our turn be sure I've got the uh, Sure, I'll have to pick up truck back here. Oh, we're gonna need to uh, try to find it. There she is. Let's park you here. Probably need to lower here shortly for our pit, our cows. Let's see if this has enough suspension to uh, pull the trailer. The, the trailer. Hoping it does, since it's a dolly trailer, it should uh, shouldn't have any weight on the tongue. 
It's just if the uh, it's just if the truck has the uh, horsepower to pull it full. Let's go ahead and uh, take this down to our root crop building. See our. Uh, let's show you all our poplar. Take a look at that. Got uh, planted poplar in here. Of course, uh, we you all remember us planting poplar, but uh, I came through at a little later time, and uh, off camera finished planting the poplar. So we got uh, poplar at a couple different growth stages here. We did not put poplar in this field over here. Just left it. Bear for now. Uh, we'll probably put uh, oilseed radish in that. Uh, as we will probably put oilseed radish in our other fields that we've harvested uh, before the uh, for the onset of winter. It's the hope that we will have enough good weather to do that. Let's see. Put our back on. See how many loads of potatoes we can cart down to the uh, sell point, how much money we can get. Based on our feeding spreadsheet, we only need, uh, I think, about 15,000 liters of uh, potatoes, and that's for a whole lot of pigs. While we're, we're waiting for this to fill up, I will have to verify that amount. Since this is a dolly trailer, I'm not going to fight it and try to back it up. Well, that's filling. Go ahead and save. And let me pull up my spreadsheet. I'll tell you exactly how many potatoes I think we're going to need. So, for Piggly Wigglies, if we have 150 pigs, we uh, should need just 16,000 liters of potatoes. So, we can sell over 100,000 liters of uh, potatoes. And... Uh, and be good. Let's see if we can back this trailer up a little bit. There we go. And I think this truck's going to have enough horsepower to get enough ponies under the hood to uh, to pull this thing around. That's good. Very nice. Be able to hopefully get around uh, back to the cell point and back fairly quickly. Don't have to worry about covering our crop. Oh, it's not that very fast. We don't have to worry about covering our crop because uh, potatoes, it's fine if they get wet. In fact, they're going to get uh, they're going to get sprayed down when they get dumped into the uh, when they get processed by the uh, distributor anyway. So it's just going to pre-washes them. Excited to see what we get before. I said this would be faster than the tractor, but I've got the foot on the floor and only up to 40. <laughs> Looks to be a little quicker. our BGA so I've been thinking that if uh, depending on what we get out of those chaff fields or out of those corn fields with the chaffing once we f if we still have corn to uh, if we still have a decent amount of corn to chaff uh, after we fill up both our fermentation silos we'll probably cart it down here to the BGA and uh, see if we can't get that going 
Didn't really do a lot of BGA work this year. Didn't do any BGA work this year. That might just change next year, depending on our finances. Got enough money uh, next year to buy a field. Might buy a field down here and uh, maybe put corn in it. Uh, and I feed the BGA next year. And since this is a dolly trailer, I'm not going to uh, this with. It's behind the. We're not going to mess with trying to back this thing up. On in. Side unload it. Well, if this isn't any faster, it's definitely more comfortable uh, than uh, bringing it over here in the tractor. Let's get this animation again. So check the bottom here also. See they rotate out. Then when they latch back, uh, check the bottom because you'll see the, the little hooks there. Hard to see them, but the little hooks will grab. Pretty cool. Alright, $8,400, not bad for $7,000. Yeah, sell uh, two more loads, minimum. The, uh, Twenty-four thousand dollars. Too bad. So we might not be super fast coming over here with our potato load. Definitely get back to the uh, storage building fairly quick. And like I said, I think uh, so. It's three loads. That would be. Seven and thirty-seven with uh, seventy thousand. So for a hundred, nine thousand would be three full loads. So we'll probably just do three full loads of potatoes with this particular tipper. That would that would net us uh, twenty-four thousand dollars ish. I think. Whoa! 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 I have to. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have to take that a little slower there this time around. Cornfield that's to our left right there, that was the cornfield that we're going to uh, harvest for grain. Pigs. And we're going to need about 162,000 liters of corn. Feed our pigs. Hoping that that field will uh, have the yield that we need. If not, we may need to uh, contract some corn in. Sure, we can count on Mark over at the uh, community farm to uh, to help us source some corn. He seems to have a whole lot of contacts around here. be any easier if it came in this way. It's gotten ourselves stuck.
There we go. I think next time I'll come around like the way we did the first time. Five thousand seven. Okay, so thirty-five and thirty-five would be um, seventy thousand. Uh, it's fourteen. It's one four. It's another five would be uh, less than one hundred and nine, but it's still over a hundred thousand liters of potatoes. Should net us over twenty four thousand dollars. Which will hopefully get us about uh, twenty pigs. Get around to buying them. Hopefully our animals will uh, start to turn us a fairly nice profit. Pig, the cows are already doing pretty good. They're bring us they're bringing us in about uh, four thousand dollars a day in milk. At this point, I'm expecting their hoping their milk production will really ramp up in winter, springtime. Got our sheep, but of course our sheep aren't doing anything as far as uh, wool because they they've just been uh, harvested before we bought them. So wool's been shaven off their backs quite literally before we bought them. Just sitting around waiting for them to uh, regrow, and we'll look forward to to starting our uh, sheep shearing. That's what they call it. Sheep shearing come uh, next spring. Whoa! He just did a horrible thing. Horrible thing. around the sign, that's for sure. A little more careful coming around that turn there. Said the the truck can do it, but uh, the, she's a bit light. And um, back in, back trailer starts wanting to go a particular direction. Truck's not heavy enough to uh, to keep it from going that way. It's best to uh, try to not let the trailer decide that it wanted a different direction. Oh. Our time. Yeah. Potato. Oh, we're gonna back dump this time. Back dump's even cooler because you can see we have uh, multiple latches that have released. So let's zoom in on this side here if we can. It uh, goes to latch back up. See multiple latches grabbing the back. Okay. 
Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, one more load. See, our cows are going to need some attention in the morning. So, if you are interested in this trailer, uh, it's over at modhoster.com. Show you the trailer. It's the uh, Randazzo Standard R270 PTV. It's an Italian job. Pretty nice. All right, so with that, I'm going to leave you guys here. We're going to go and sell one more load of potatoes before the end of the night. Then we're going to move into tomorrow. And um, off camera, we're going to forage harvest that field. And, uh, see what we can get done. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please uh, consider like button. If you don't like this video, please consider clicking the don't like button. Because you know what? By making a decision to like this video at this point, you've already watched it, and uh, that's all I really care about, is uh, that uh, people watch the videos. Over here, might as well sell us some eggs. Uh, if you're interested in more content, please consider subscribing. Get notifications of future content. Uh, right now, we are uh, planning on producing content for this particular series until the end of the first calendar year last day of uh, the 24th day of winter if you will I have every intention of continuing to play this map uh, mostly off camera in the second year I'll probably uh, maybe record a couple of highlights um, here and there of, of uh, big things um, but uh, but yeah, it's been fun playing this map so far in 24 day seasons. And uh, next next map is I'm not really sure what the next map will be as far as which map we're playing. Uh, but I can tell you that I'm thinking about doing a 15 day season on that one. Just to change it up a little bit. Uh, it's still a fairly long season, but uh, compared to 24, I said we're going to be a lot shorter. We're going to have five days versus eight days per seasonal transition and it'll be interesting to see if we feel that we are uh, pushed anymore uh, if we need to kind of if we feel that we need to move our gameplay um, faster or not. so I encourage you to check out the PCSG web community as well as the three dudes gaming network they're both really excellent uh, websites to go to and they both are adult oriented uh, which means that they don't have juvenile behavior um, stupid things like that post a question app to actually get an answer not that's a sometimes a foreign concept on a uh, community site is to actually get a full answer And also, one, one, last, uh, one last plea would be to check out the guys in my description. Uh, they are all Three Dudes Media members, and uh, they all produce excellent farm sim content and other content. Um, enjoy to check them out, and uh, if you like those guys, go ahead and uh, give them a sub. Until next time, guys, happy farming.